Yes, we can go. Okay. All righty, DST probe replacement procedure. Take any type of screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, to remove the four screws as such. And remove the battery from the unit. Disconnect the probe without destroying it. Take a pair of pliers. Remove the ground connector there. Take a pair of snips, or if you're, you can very carefully wire it through, but it's easier to, to remove the ferrites by cutting the snips. Remove the screw. Remove the ferrites. And the spacer. Disconnect the wires from the connector with a small flat tip screwdriver and place that to the side okay and you can open up the, you can pull the wires through, the ferrites. And then place the meter over here out of the way. You should be using an anti-static mat grounded when touching the PC board. Okay, there it is. Open up the ferrites for next usage. Adjustable wrenches or the seven eighths wrench. and a one and one eighth inch. Clean out any of the residual thread locking material, thread tape in this case. And you take your new probe. Add more locking thread tape to it. And you run it through the hole. Try not to get it all tangled up.
Now, as this being an all angle probe, you'll have to loosen up the bracket. And then turn the bracket only till it's flush so you're not damaging the coil armor cable and the the probe and then tighten it back down and I did that step early Getting ahead of myself. There we go. This has to be a little bit more in hand tight or slightly torqued with the wrench. to the terminal, put a loop in the wire, take your big ferrite, slide them all in here like so, and pull this excess wire tight here, so, and then take your little one like so. Take your connector, goes like this, By flipping it over such, and you put your white wires on this side. your black wires in next and you take your brown wire Connect your orange wire last. And you will 
composition of ferrites. As such, take your zip tie through with this connect screw hole on the top side. Tighten and snip off, break off. Same thing on this side, except it's we're on the towards the other side. So the loop should be towards the inside, towards the center of the can, or base assembly. Take the screw through the, the large one first and then through the small one. Take the spacer and then carefully put them into the nut weld. down and it should be something like this and that's the installation of the probe and take the screwdriver you can place the battery into unit make sure you did it right Take a torque wrench or a screwdriver and torque the screws down four to five inch pounds and at the complete assembly.